Hello YouTube, this is Tim, your friendly neighborhood bastard, and let's talk about another pedal. This is the Full Tone OCD. So again, I'm running it through the beige channel of my 11 rack, which is a Bogner Ecstasy Green Channel emulation. Not much going on there, just a little bit of reverb. Uh, it's got a tiny, tiny bit of breakup uh, if I completely murder the strings, and I'm running my Chapman ML3 Modern through the pedal into the 11 rack and then directly out into the computer. So, um, yeah, this thing, as you can see, it's a, a nice little tank of a pedal. Uh, you can really feel its weight when you pick it up. Very, very well built. Um, and yeah, you've got your standard sort of drive, tone, and volume controls. I've got the volume set where I where I like it for this patch. And then there's another little switch that kind of gooses the, gooses the gain a little bit. Um, and so we'll, we'll explore all the settings here and just give you a quick overview. I had a chance to play around with it a little bit. It's, it's a pretty damn cool overdrive pedal. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It gave me a lot more gain than I would have expected. I had never had a chance to play around with one of these before. Um, even though I'd heard about them constantly online for many, many years. So, uh, again, here's my clean channel and let's get to it. I've got the tone and drive on noon and i've got that little switch at the top turned off should probably just give it a little more volume So for an overdrive pedal, I actually, you know, I would expect less gain than that right off the bat. Um, you know, and that's at noon. So let's let's take it down. Um, yeah, as if we're using it as a boost, let's just take the gain more or less all the way down and we'll keep the volume where it is. Now you'll see on this particular specimen, which uh, I'm not, I don't know exactly when this one was manufactured. Um, I was uh, lent this pedal by a buddy of mine. Um, you see the, the drive knob there is a little bit askew. So right here is about one on the actual dial, if you think of it in, in terms of like a one to 10 scale. And it's just enough to give you a little bit extra sustain. A little bit of grit there. Not a whole lot going on. And then if you're running into a, you know, a gain channel of some type, um, then it would, it would just add to that quite a bit. And you could just, you know, turn the volume up or what have you. Um, so I'm going to turn the gain back up to noon and we'll mess with the tone control a bit. So that's not bad. Uh, I got a little bit brighter there, of course. Um, let's see the extremes. So it seems to refuse to just get unusable. <laughs> uh, I would figure that that thing would have been pretty thin at that point. But it's actually, for being on 10 tone-wise, um, that's significantly more full than I would have uh, imagined. I guess that's why they call it a full tone pedal. That's why the company's named what it's named. Now let's try it with the tone all the way down. Yeah, I didn't throw a blanket over your speakers. That just, that's how much you can roll it off. So they do give you that option, which that would be useful in some cases. Like if you're running into just a super, super trebly amp, 
um, and you're using this thing as a boost, then yeah, that that definitely can help. I'm going to turn it back up a little bit over noon. Now let's see how much gain this thing has. All right, so you see, uh, again, that, that drive knob goes well past 10. So a pretty nice singing sustain on that. You know, it's um, got probably more gain than than I would use on an average day, even playing metal stuff. Um, but it's not the type of gain you'd use for metal because it's kind of loose, you know. But that's perfect when you're soloing or, or, again, when you're using the thing as a boost, you know, just trying to goose the input of an amp. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip that switch at the top. Let's see what it does. All right, so it, it cleaned it up quite a bit um, as far as as far as just being a little bit more usable in that uh, gain setting. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff indeed. Um, you know what? Just for giggles, I'm going to actually try this on one of my gain patches on the 11 rack. So bear with me for one moment. Okay, we're back. I'm done fiddling with that for the moment. So, uh, all right. Now I've got a, a patch that's a Bogner Ecstasy Red Channel patch. It was a, um, a lead patch. And I had to take the, the internal boost off and that sort of thing. Um, and so here's how it sounds. Uh, I also took the delay off of it, but here's how it sounds right now. So that's just the, uh, the Ecstasy Red Channel emulation on the 11 rack. And now let me switch on the OCD. So yeah, it does add a little bit of gain, um, tiny bit of character. Let me um, flip the switch and whatnot and mess about, mess about with it a little bit. doesn't cause it to lose any articulation or anything like that. Um, let's give a little bit more gain. That's just fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, you can get a, you know a bit of gain, a bit more gain out of whatever, but 
Um, ultimately, that's exactly how I'd expect an overdrive pedal to work. And, and the OCD is just a damn smooth one. It just sounds very nice, um, very high class. You know, it, it does sort of the same job um, in front of an amp as like your standard Tube Screamer or Boss SD-1 would. But by itself, it's a lot more versatile. So that's really, really cool. I'm glad I got a chance to take a look at this. So that does it for the Full Tone OCD. I have been Tim, your friendly neighborhood bastard, signing off. <laughs>